What the hell? You fucking predator. Hey, put that paw down. Snip snapper. Yeah, get her ass. Hey. Hey. What? Don't smack me. Stupid cat. Why are you the way that you are? Why are you like this? Moving like the speed of sound. Hey guys, Joey, welcome back. So today, um, I'm pretty bored and I got a lot of chores to do, so figured uh, why not make a video and just take you guys on my adventure of uh, what I'm doing for the day. Show you a day, day in the life of an uh, unsuccessful reefer, and then um, just take you on, you know, kind of a daily vlog. So I'll show a little bit reef tank stuff, I'll show a little bit non reef tank stuff. Stick around for whatever you want because I really don't care either way. So, what we're gonna do uh, today uh, to start is right now I'm actually making a, a video on the, the Cheetah reactor. So You'll see that eventually. Uh, filter's on, so it's going to be a little bit orange, uh, but you'll just have to deal with it. And uh, so uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, take off the clear C. I'll let the roll expire all the way. So if you don't staple the roll, um, it's a huge pain in the ass. It becomes an ordeal. Uh, you have to take it out, which is fine. It was due for a cleaning anyways with kind of all the algae that's been passing through. Um, I'll also drain and, and clean the skimmer cup. <clears throat> Get that a little uh, rinse down. Um, I think that's pretty much it for for everything under here. We're also going to do a little bit of testing. So I have the uh, test kits out here. Do some nitrate testing. Uh, some uh, this is alkalinity, and there's some uh, phosphate tester. So we'll go ahead and test that. Uh, this is a guilty. I don't even, it's not a guilty pleasure. This is just guilty. Don't look at that. We're not touching that. Um, that's gonna continue to get neglected. What else do we got? Uh, okay, we're gonna go in and all these little tufts of algae in here. We're going to remove all of those. Uh, those are just annoying, so I'm gonna take those out. Uh, we're going to move some corals around, push these back where they need to go, put them in the rightful spots. We're going to be drinking this coffee today. Uh, by, I have some beans in there, espresso beans, Death Wish coffee. That shit's amazing. It's like 200% caffeine, so it will get you going for your reef tank needs. Here's the Clear Sea Roll. This is an aftermarket roll. So this is just off eBay. It's coolant filter paper. Uh, it's definitely different than the original roll. Um, this one is actually more like a paper and you could actually rip it versus the one that is actually manufactured for the Clarisee. It's a lot harder to rip and it's more uh, like a plastic almost. Some tools we have for the job today. Uh, we have some Gorilla Glue, not a sponsor, but if they want to, they can because that shit's pretty expensive. Uh, some tongs, super, super long tongs. That helps when you got short arms. So we're going to mount this. This coral needs to go back over here. That's where it originally was. These ones need to get pulled out of the shade a little bit this way. Um, see these huge tufts of algae? They'll just get pulled right off the rock, so I'm not really worried about it. But everyone wants to say, oh yeah, you got algae in your tank. Oh, do I? Because I can't fucking see. Still very snow globe-like in the tank. Whatever. I'm trying to get over it as best that I can. What else do we have? I think that might be it for for what we're going to be doing today. And then we'll do some other random stuff. It's so, alright. Enjoy it. Or don't. I'll leave right now. I don't care. Here we have the testing setup. So let me see if I can actually do some of this stuff with one hand. Uh, I'll show you how to do things the uh, the right way with the Hannah checkers, especially the phosphate. Some people do some uh, really weird stuff with it. Uh, talking about you, Palfrey. I'll say it. I'm not afraid. Please don't beat me up. 
So let me see if I can get this on the video. It's a huge pain. Need a professional uh, person to uh, film me. So first thing I do, fold it in half. Take your scissors, your cut along the uh, dotted line there. Very challenging. Not a lot of people get that right. I would say that's perfect execution. Very well done. This whole thing's gonna be super out of focus. Anyways, then you can open up your package. There you go. Oh, nope. So there you go. Now you got a nice uh, little scoop to pour in the powder. After that's open, I set it off to the side. And then I take my vials and the syringe. We're gonna go over to the tank. Man, this is gonna take me forever if I'm gonna be filming all this shit all day. All right, so we got alkalinity here on the left, phosphate is on the right. Now we're gonna go ahead and just start rinsing that. I just rinse it enough times until I feel like it's okay. Uh, there's a science behind it, of course, but it's really complicated, so I don't, I don't know if you guys would understand. All right, now I try to shake it out as much as possible. It feels about right. Now we'll do alkalinity. That feels about right as well. And then take our syringe, syringe, 10 milliliter, milliliter syringe rather. Oh, can I do this one hand? So we're gonna rinse out this too, fill it up. So maintenance and everything is a lot easier if you're using two hands. It feels about right uh, for rinsing it out two or three times. So then uh, here's what I do on mine is I then fill it up all the way and then I'll go down to where the first black line meets the 10 millimeter mark. So just like that. Then I go over to my I'll cup it and then put it in. There's the other one. Now see what happens. I'm fucking around trying to film shit. You guys are fucking shit up. Hold on. So I just realized something. I just filmed my whole testing procedure. You can see this is done. And I thought I was talking to the camera the whole time, but I had the video paused. Wow. That is amazing. That is amazingly just like me. Anyways, recap. I did some stuff. I shook some stuff. I did it the right way. Now none of my jokes will make any sense. Um, alkalinity went down to 10.8 from 11.8 on the 19th. PO4 is down to 49. And that's, that's pretty much a 100 point drop. So that's pretty good. I'll go ahead and do nitrates. Actually, I'm gonna rinse this stuff off first and then I'll do nitrates. Okay, let's try this again. We're gonna press the play button and then we're gonna start talking to the camera and doing the things. Uh, so this is a sulfur nitrate kit. Uh, you're just gonna need uh, one milliliter of water. Same process as I do the other ones in terms of rinsing it out before I start using it. I used to use Red Sea, uh, but this one's just easier, and it doesn't really matter if it's that accurate. Uh, so one milliliter water, uh, four drops of this. One, two, three, four. One scoop of the powder. I kind of just take a, a heaping scoop, and then kind of use the edge to Get as much off as I can. That's that's scientifically good right there. Throw all the shit back in the box. And then you're just gonna gently uh, shake it a little. Can't believe I did that with the freaking video. I made so many good jokes. They're all aimed at Pelfrey. Damn, especially about that nitrate kit. Or sorry, 
especially about that phosphate test. Damn, what a freaking idiot. All right, so now that this is gently stirred, uh, you just wait a couple minutes and it'll start developing the color. I'm gonna go put it in a brighter part of the room. That's where I normally do it. So just a tip on that, just try to always do it in the same spot. Um, that way you, you're just being consistent every single time. Because these things are nuclear, nuclear science. You gotta get it right or else. And it's just been a short little while. Let me actually take this off so you can see the true color. And I'm knocking it down because there's no depth perception when you're filming. Come on, let's do this right. To me, it looks more like 50 right now. So it's, it's probably gonna settle right there. I don't think it's 25. What do y'all think? I don't think I'd put that at 25. There could be an argument for either or. What do you think? This is the biggest challenge on, on these is, is it 50 or is it 25? I'm gonna lean worst case scenario and go to uh, to 50. So one thing to know about the, uh, the the result right there is I've been noticing, and I just cleaned the glass yesterday, but the glass has been getting dirty like every two days. Uh, typically people are gonna say two things uh, and most people are gonna say the first thing and they're gonna be wrong. Uh, they're gonna say that you just have really high phosphates or high nitrates and they're wrong to an extent. And they're right to an extent as well but you could also have an imbalance in your nitrates to phosphate ratio. Uh, so if you're not within that kind of what they call the Redfield ratio, uh, you could start having that imbalance and that's gonna encourage the algae to grow, uh, the nuisance algae to grow. So that's why you're gonna get dirtier glass, things like that. So just a little scientific fact for you there. Uh, if you wanna argue with me, just know that you're wrong. So um, anyways, that is uh, testing. Um, nothing I really need to do as a result of any of that testing. Uh, there's no emergencies I really need to handle. Uh, I'm just gonna do salinity real quick as well. So let's go grab the pen. Here we go. Here's the Hanna salinity pen. Very advanced. You're gonna need to hit the on button. It's already been calibrated. I have an MPPT. Uh, originally it used to be more of a uh, what is it, a specific gravity, so would that be like 1.025, that type of deal, but uh, since I got this pen, I really enjoy uh, parts per thousand. Seems a little bit more, more accurate. So all you need to do once you turn this little guy on is uh, stick it in the water. I kind of tap it to uh, try to get any bubbles out that I can. And then just hold it. So we're sitting at 32, tells us temp, 78.5, not too bad. But I would like to get the tank up three more points. Uh, so I might add some salt, uh, just a cup of salt into the uh, sump here, and then just let it dissolve slowly. After you're done with the pen, just make sure you rinse it, wipe it off, put it back. And uh, always make sure you focus your video before you talk, but it's pretty hard with one hand. Uh, eh, whatever. All right, now we're done with the Chata reactor. I actually need to turn that off. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start doing some stuff inside the tank. Actually, no, I'm not gonna do anything inside the tank yet. I'm gonna take off the Clarisy and get that cleaned up and get the skimmer cleaned up. ATO still going off. Kiwi, here we go. You like it up there? Come on, step up. Good. What the hell? You fucking predator. Hey, put that paw down. Snip snapper. Yeah, get her ass. Hey. Hey. Right. Don't smack me, stupid cat. So the uh, clarity is pretty easy to get out. Um, it's not actually 
plumbed in, like hard plumbed and, and connected and all that. It's just uh, connected to this loosely. Uh, the size they give is actually a metric size uh, fitting instead of one inch, so it's slightly bigger. So I just took some Teflon tape, wrapped it around uh, that one inch, and uh, good to go. So let's go ahead and pull this out and clean it up. You're supposed to be able to just slide off this sleeve. This sleeve moves. And uh, it's never happened like that for me. So I usually have to do a huge pain in the ass route. Uh, take off this old roll, just pop off this end cap. There we go. That part's done. Uh, and then uh, taking this apart will be a little bit of a pain, um, but not too bad. Let's see, how can, I, how can I set this up appropriately? This is the hardest part about some of this, filming all this really, is how do you set up the angles and the shots correctly? So if you unscrew these, uh, this whole kind of case will come apart. So uh, it's a huge pain in the ass to set these things up and you really need to watch the video when you're going to set these up from Clarity, but uh, once you get it uh, all set up, it's, it is pretty obvious the way it all comes together. So. Anyways, I'm gonna take it apart and get it cleaned up, just all these little screws. I don't think I'm gonna film this because this is gonna be like super long. So I'll just kind of hit the uh, major milestones. That was definitely not uh, quick in terms of cleaning that, but it was due for a good cleaning. Uh, and I never, I never made a video on this yet uh, because uh, basically what I wanted to do in the video was essentially failing. So uh, to cover up my failures, I didn't make the video yet. But I did want to say a shout out to uh, Daily Reefing for hooking me up with the Clarity. Um, he had one laying around and he has his industrial systems going on in his uh, reef tank. So he didn't need something small like this on his 20,000 gallon tank. Uh, so he went ahead and, and hooked me up with it for uh, you know a good price uh, compared to buying it brand new. So definitely a shout out to him. Shout out to Niles, you're the man. And uh, yeah, that's enough with those. So let's go ahead and put on the new roll. Once again, these are aftermarket rolls. And setting one of these up is a huge pain in the ass originally. To put the filter paper on is a huge pain. Once again, if you don't have a Clarity, you do not need to do this every single time. So don't look at this process and be like, oh my God, I'm never gonna get a Clarity because that is just way too involved. This is a one-time thing because I was too lazy to um, change out the filter the, the easy way. We're gonna give it quite a bit of slack. You gotta waste a whole bunch at first uh, so you can Spin it on the uh, motor here. This doesn't look very good, does it? It almost looks like it was like getting really hot. It's melting a little. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, then once you have it like this, you get a feed. 
roll through the collar or sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Once again, I don't really care what you call things. I'm just making sure it's level because I've had it at times when it's not level and you get uneven rolling. So if you get an uneven rolling or if it's bunching in the center, just make sure that it's level. So kind of play with it a little bit. Basically, if it's leaning in, right, if the paper is pulling from this side inwards, uh, you need to, what is it? You need to drop down this side. And if it's going the other way, you need to lift it up. I think that's how it is. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put it back. Uh, before I do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and start my next phase. Was that like a whole video out of focus? That'd be annoying. Um, I'm gonna pull out some of the algae that's in the tank right now. So that's my next phase and clean the skimmer cup. So we'll go and uh, do that stuff. So you don't care about the money, well yes it's true And I'm so blessed to be fulfilling my destiny All material things could mean less to me Only thing I ever could need is a Sarah B sample with a dope ass beat And get the mic check, all the levels right And if it's good then I'll be here for several nights Cause the only thing I need is a strong supporting team The most important thing that helps support my dream And I can't forget my family, helping keep my sanity No matter what I do, I know they'll always stand for me Okay, so <clears throat> that was like 45 minutes of picking algae off the rock and I mounted uh, the zoas. These zoas are back where they belong right here. So they're all closed up for me smashing them with my fingers. Uh, this is how much algae I actually took out. So. Can you focus? Yeah, there's tons in there. So this is also my uh, part of my chater reactor apparently, is the tank. So, quick rundown of the tank. Things are doing pretty good. Um, I got some good uh, overhead shots. I'll, I'll show you the corals here. But overall, everything's doing pretty good since I've you know tried to crash the tank by taking all the sand out. Um, apparently it's supposed to kill your stuff, but I guess that's full of shit. Um, so I don't know if anyone has experience with that or what happened or what you did, but it didn't happen to me. That's for sure. Um, so everything's doing pretty good. Uh, I also got this, uh, what is this? Is this a bird's nest or like a, yeah, it has to be a bird's nest, huh? Anyways, there's particles and debris flying all over this tank right now. So I'm gonna go ahead, swap out the uh, pinky filter. So the pinky filter is right here. That's getting pretty full. So swap that out. Uh, then I'll just empty out this Angry Owl bullshit collector. Uh, it's got a whole bunch of Pat Murphy's fucking bullshit in there. And that guy's a little bitch. Uh, make sure you send that to him. Anyways. Not all of us can be successful reefers, but some of us cannot be little bitches. I think that's it for everything I needed to do on the tank today. Um, now I'll just kind of go out and uh, do some other things. Got to mow the lawn, so that'll be uh, an adventure. And then I need to edit a video too, try to get a video out today. Uh, not any of the ones I'm recording today, but I think I'm going to get... Uh, uh, sand swap video out. So anyways, let's go do that other stuff.
Okay guys, need to wrap up this vlog, so just gonna give you one quick look at the tank. This is no filter on. And it's cleared up pretty nicely from all the stuff. Uh, just getting ready to feed the fish. Uh, got some food over here. It's getting ready. This is vitamin, it's the little yellow orange drops. Uh, then I need to start some food for human consumption. But um, yeah, it's a rough day of doing all my chores. Got through it, still need to go ahead and do a little bit more to think. Need to just do my daily dose of uh, my elements that I put in there. Uh, the skimmers looking much better. You know, it's going a little bit crazy, but eh, it's all right. Uh, that's mostly from the new paper being in there. Um, and then that, of course, is doing its job nicely. So I'm gonna go ahead, make some dinner, and then play some games. Buns is playing some Animal Crossing right now. So that, that game's pretty entertaining. Also Fortnite and uh, Mario Kart have been our, our games of choice lately. So, well Fortnite's my game of choice, but. Look at these guys, look at this copper band. What a specimen. Got the powder. Oh, and here's the zoas that I mounted right there. Not too bad. No filter, that's not bad. Anyways, guys, uh, thanks for sticking around if you did. And I'll catch you in the next one.